Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. In the previous video, we started to go through a keying example that requires a bit of work to pull the key. We started off keying the hard edges of the talent and now we need to do a second keyer pass to take on the soft edge detail seen in her hair. However, in order to do that, at some point you need to be able to blend the matte passes together. Now this nodal pipeline is manageable as it is, however there is a tool that can help you keep the matte tools more in order as well as blend multiple mats. You could have applied this tool before you started or add it in as and when you need. This is known as the matte blend tool. To set everything up, we are going to break apart all the connections in the modular keyer and rearrange a few things. I promise that this will become clear in a second. Just reconnect the original front, back and matte sources into the modular keyer result node. Press the home icon to bring up the modular keyer node bin and the default UI layout. Press M over the node bin and drag out a matte blend node. Just drop the matte blend node over the matte connection. Now the matte blend node can hold up to 4 layers of matte tools and blend them together. To add the nodes, simply drop them in the same order over the connection. This order is the matte pipeline for the first matte layer. The top line where I have inserted the nodes is the main input for this matte layer. The bottom line which is empty is a secondary input for the first matte layer. The point of the secondary input is that you can use masks to limit the regions where main functions will be applied. For example, let's say I only wanted to key around the talent's body and not anywhere else in the image, you would use the mask to limit the keying region. But in this case, I have added the mask to the end of the main input because I want all the main functions to affect the entire image and then use a mask to affect the result coming out of the previous nodes. Now we need a second matte layer to work on the soft edges. Double click on the matte blend node and click add to add a new matte layer. Return to the nodes by pressing the home icon button. Hover over the nodes and press M to bring up the master keyer. Just drag the master keyer node out of the node bin and drop it onto the main input of the second matte layer. Just a tip, if you ever need to remove a node out of the pipeline, hold Ctrl Option and drag it out. This also makes it easier to rearrange nodes without having to disconnect and connect every time. Now go to the last frame where you can see a lot of hair detail. Double click on the master keyer node and click the colour pot. Sample the area of green across the talent's head. The key is off to a good start and click on the image to bring up the on-screen slider. Adjust the sliders to retain as much of the hair detail as you can. This may take a few goes but you will eventually get it. If you make any mistakes or want to start again, you can right click on any node and choose reset to start it again. Now this particular key on matte layer 2 is only for the soft edge detail. So you need to use another G mask to limit the areas of the key. Press the home icon button again and drag a G mask node out of the node bin into the main matte input. Press F1 to see the original green screen and it will ensure that the mask add buttons appear. Now draw a mask around the areas to preserve the hair detail. Let's look at the result of the G mask node by pressing F4. I'll enable the region of interest again to preserve the mask's contents. And I'll also adjust the offset to add a bit of softness to the mask to better blend the mats. As before, we need to track the movement to the talent. Click the stabilizer button to enter the stabilizer. If we had saved the tracking data, we could have reused it, but this is easy to do again. Just go to tracker 2 and turn it off. Now go back to tracker 1. Since the mask was drawn on the last frame, we'll use that as a starting point and track backwards. 
pick up the tracker boxes from the middle of the image and place it over the talent's eye. Change the tracker mode from forward to backward. Press Analyze and let the tracker do the rest. Exit the stabilizer back to the modular keyer. When you scrub the time bar, you can see the mask is locked to the motion of the talent. So now we have two mats in the Mat Blend node. If I select the GMask node in the first pipeline, you can see the hard edge mat with its crushed edges. If I select the GMask node in the second pipeline, you can see the isolated head with the soft hair detail. To marry the mats together is done at the result output of the Mat Blend node. Just by clicking on the blue output of the topmost mat layer will show the combined result of both. There are a few different blending options as well as advanced menus to blend the mats. However, the default settings does a straightforward combination. Now press 4 to see the overall result of the modular keyer. This is what the modular keyer is producing. Now press 3 and you will see the context of action which shows the result of the modular keyer combined with all the other layers in 3D space within action. In the next video, we move away from working with the alpha and matte and focus on color suppression and enhancing the edges with pixel spread. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning channel for future videos.